Good afternoon. So I figured it would be easier to show via video than it would be to try and explain. So this drawing that I have here is a cutout or a, is a cross section from above of how the, the kitchen would be installed. So it's, you can see it's 66 inches wide, that's five and a half feet and 32 inches front to back. Um, that is uh, the, the, this area around the outside here, this six inches. This is what I need for my veneer and for my block. So the pergola post can only be, can be a um, minimum of six inches away from the front. With a 32 inch wide, it would give you five inches between your, um, your grill and the post, between the grill and the post. If you did 34, it would get it down to four inches between the grill and the post. So with the six inches, if you originally did this at 30 inches, like I had originally said, you would have six inches between the post and the grill enclosure. So my, my limit is really what we have right here. It's four inch block and then two inches for the veneer that goes on the outside. Um, I certainly wouldn't go any bigger than 34 inches, but that only gives you, you know, four-ish inches between your grill and that pergola post. Now these are with six by six pergola posts. Um, that's what I have on mine. If you did four by four, then certainly it, you know, you'd take off two inches on each of these sides and you could keep it at 32 or 34 and still be in a similar range to what, to what we had discussed. So I hope this kind of helps to explain um, of what the cross section kind of looks like.